ASL Premier League Group Stage Round of 32. One of my favorite casters in the entire world, amazing caster of Rome with her own Twitch channel, and just a disgustingly amazing Zerg player. It is the Pink Zerg. And her opponent, spawning in the top right of Overgrowth in yellow from Scotland and Team Fuzzy Squirrel. Genesis. All right. Well, so we have Platinum versus Diamond technically, as far as uh, actual divisions go. Genesis is Diamond, I believe. And yes, I say. That's, so that's one factor there. Now, what's your predictions for this game? Let, let's go with some early theoretical pred predictions here. Um, well, from the look of things, Genesis is opening Reaper. I've got that so far. <laughs> um, other than that, I have no idea how either of these uh, either of these players like to play. I really don't know anything about their styles. I've never seen them uh, play in this matchup or indeed at all before this point. So I'm really interested to see how it goes uh, in the first game before I start kind of thinking in the second and if it goes to a third, third game about how they might like actually choose to play. Mm -hmm. Right now I just want to see what they're up to. Man, you know, I could completely nail this on the head. <laughs> I swear okay. to God I could. Because I've played against Bexy personally. So I know mm -hmm. what she likes to do here, and I, I've cast probably 15 games of Genesis. So I pretty much just already can see this game unfolding and how it's going to be played out. <laughs> Question is, should I give that away? <laughs> uh. Well, if you do, you'll look really smart. <laughs> All right, now I want to. Bex yeah. is going to open give us up a with this. She's going to get this hatch down. After she gets the pool, she's going to transfer some workers over, get her worker counts up, probably go to a two-base roach timing. Meanwhile, you're going to have Genesis transition into three or four racks, double NG bays, and push out the upgrades, bio, and get at least one star port, and one factory producing widow mines. And then he will try and do the tiers, teardrop moves, and multitasking, and just being a royal pain in the ass of Bexies. While she tries spamming out all the roaches, probably transitioning into Hydra. Any questions? Uh, no. I so far <laughs> I'm, I'm feel that was fairly comprehensive. We'll have to see if, uh, if you're right. I do actually. You know, I do have a question, and that question is, okay, it's been answered. There is a command center coming down for Genesis. Okay, it's been answered. <laughs> so uh, that was he, your question. Is, yeah, that was basically it. That was that was where I was going with that. I was thinking, okay. Uh, but he's actually continuing to mine gas, so I feel like he should be putting down a factory rather than a barracks. And actually, we see that coming down now. Is he going to get the factory and then follow up with the barracks? That's more standard. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't expect a fast factory. I would have gone, well, you know what? No, that's too early in the game. I would have said fast double engineering, basically go for fast 2-2. Two, two. Um, yeah, that about five, six minutes. Yeah, but he doesn't need to do that. So yeah. he's just. Right now, the Reapers are doing that thing. Yeah, they're just being a real pain in the butt. Two Reapers, three Reapers, third one on the way here. Three and Reapers. tunnelings. Ring speed on the way, nearly done. If he actually waits to take this engage, or uh, Bexy waits, she'll be just fine here in about eight seconds. She can't wait. She's being, uh, I suppose, she, she can wait in that moment, but now the speed is done. Uh, Tell me, you're a Zerg. Do speedlings still catch Reapers off creep? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they do. Ooh, nice reaction. And they can't run away because you have to stutter step. Oh, well, she split him. That's bad news. But they, even if he stutter steps, he's going to take shots. Uh, he yeah. can't just... There's no way to outrun them. And so that's Ooh. why he's... Just, oh, he let himself get surrounded. He did. Uh, and not only oh. that, but Genesis is, uh, Genesis is actually producing a third command center. So he's gone for a really greedy build. And if your prediction about a roach all in uh, comes true, or a two base timing out of a Zerg player comes true, then this is going to prove difficult to hold. Especially because he's having to be a little bit delayed here. Those lings are out there, and he doesn't have enough Hellions out yet. Well, he's got them coming, though. Yeah. Rich Warren he just now coming down for Bexy. Yep. 
<laughs> she loves her roaches. <laughs> hmm. Deepest roach, good timing versus Taron. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad, especially that's why I think these links are monitoring that natural. And the longer it takes him to get a second base up, the more effective her timing can be. Absolutely. I'd love to see two Evo Chambers going down right now, though. Now, though, And using this moment where she's not just going to start massing up her units and get those upgrades started. Get that low well, tech, you know, that, all that gas intensive stuff, but she's sitting on one gas. She has actually pulled two drones. No, they're going back. I was going to say, the fact that we don't see the two Evo Chambers tells us that this is going to be a more all in push. She's not planning on transitioning out oh, of this. Oh, damn. This is 11. designed to kill. 11 roaches on the way. Mm hmm. So she's going to skip the upgrades and push in with none of them. She might, does she? She didn't get bro, did she? No, okay. So, yeah, it's literally going to be a really hard push here, and these Hellions are going to pick this up like. They oh, actually no, gone they're going the other way. The way. <laughs> Looking for that third base, but seeing that lack of third base, Genesis will know that something a bit funny is going on. And behind oh, this, we man. actually see that Bexy is going for a lair. So after this, she might have a little bit of follow-up in the form of tech, perhaps two base muter. Roaches aren't that gas intensive, but they do cost gas, and that's going to mean that any transition from to a lair tech unit is going to be limited. Yeah, but look at look at Genesis production right now. Widow mines are going to be good. But he is, he's not going for the Marauder despite the tech lab. He's getting more Marines. Marines are soft and easy units to kill against, yeah. you know, uh, for roaches. Interesting decision to, yeah, now focusing down that building depot because obviously that cannot be repaired at this point. Uh, the SCVs uh, are all around the, uh, all around the bunker. That's not going to go down. I think she there missed aren't enough roaches to here. She's hunting down the Hellions, which is good, but, but the Hellions... I don't even know because I think if those those being at home is quite important to be able to deal with this attack and there's quite a lot of roaches coming up now. Um, widows aren't going to just cut it on their own. Keeping off two roaches which is nice doing some good splash but currently the bunker is just healing them out. <laughs> oh my I, god she's ooh. not going to get the bunker. She no. needs to be focusing down the workers that's what she really needs to be doing. Oh she switched to the supply depot. Yeah a uh, good <laughs> control there actually. I oh love boy. the SCV pool just walling the roaches out. And there's going to be some more. I mean, more roaches are coming across the map. But the first wave of Widow Mines are nearly complete. There are Marauders for Genesis on the field now. And they're going to rip through those roaches, especially if we see them jump in the bunker. She's just not focus firing enough. No. It, it took way too long for her to switch up to focus firing. She, she had a lot of opportunities to kill all those workers. She ended up getting seven, but that was not cost effective. It, no. She's 1,100 resources behind at this point. Which, that's a lot for yeah, the 11-minute mark. She has a third base and a spire coming down behind this, uh, which is going to keep her in the game if it remains unpunished. But it does rather have to remain unpunished, because there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of forces now getting out for Genesis. He didn't really lose that many units in this attack. Oh. So if we see medevacs and the starport halfway complete, soon these are going to be punishable. It's a question of whether the muters make it out first. I think they will, yeah. but not many of them. Please note four racks, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very, very true. <sighs> They're producing, <laughs> yeah, but one of them's got a tech lab and it's producing marines, so it's not like spending it's on half production where it should be. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, well, Bexy's up on three bases now. If she can get a spore and two spines down in the front here, she should be okay with this base. Uh, yeah, her 1-1 one, one melee upgrades are on the way. Oh, no. This base is screwed. Totally Walk screwed. Is down. Oh, queen. Still so strong, though. Uh, I believe 12 workers killed? That's Genesis what I there? see. Uh, yep. yep, that's... Might have killed one now, of the Reaper earlier. what did that see? Hmm... Nothing ma majorly interesting back at home. At Genesis' no. home, I should say. Oh, the meters have definitely been spotted now, so... Oh, yeah. That's probably going to tell the Hellions to just run home. Because <laughs> now turrets are going to have to go up everywhere. Yeah, and... Indeed, they are doing two turrets in production now in the bases. Of Actually, they're both in the main. Nothing interesting there. Maybe he just figures his armies in the natural so he can defend that. But there's a sweet spot behind the, the mineral line, the main mineral line. Yeah, they won't be for long. No. Um, and where's the armory? There's a lot of Hellions there. Is there an armory? No, no armory. Just, just coming down now. Going to deny this third from going down. Temporarily, at least. 
Yeah. I just want to see this this widow mine force run under the mutilisks and borrow. <laughs> Here come Line the on top of that, she is now getting Bane Link speed, so this is turning into a Ling Bane Muta standard yeah. build. She's get she's been getting the melee upgrades, so uh, she will be going for a fairly standard Ling Bane Muta composition against the again fairly standard kind of bio medevac with a little bit of Hellion Hellbat support out of our Terran player. Uh, pressure in the third with those Hellions that I just mentioned, gonna be yep. pretty good. Yeah, they're killing up a lot of workers. Ooh, so many. Uh, oh, man. She just lost 14 more workers. Yeah. Uh, Genesis is pulling ahead in the supply of in the worker supply, and that is not really a position a Terran should ever be in against the Zerg. They have larval production. The only time a Terran is usually ahead in workers is when Zerg about to kill him. But mm -hmm. now I don't think that's what we're seeing. Oh, no. Okay. The worker transfer, but yeah. all the Hellions were finally killed off. Yeah. Yeah, Genesis is still yet to take a third successfully. Uh, whilst Bexy has got a third, a uh, fourth, sorry, halfway in production. She's, yep. she's, actually, she's looking good on the macro there. Yeah. She just has no count. army supply. If uh, work supply is, uh, her, yeah, her work supply is decent, 64. Yeah, she's 64 60. ahead. Yeah. Um, she can just remake them, but because she's spending oh. all of her lava there, she's not spending it on units. And that's why we're finally seeing this unit production wave start with 26 lings, oh, some of no. which will become banes, but it might be a little bit late because this you is see a big, this, you scary see this turn, composition? This is his best composition right here. Oh, yeah. He is really good at this. And how many banelings do we have any out? No. Not even. It's, no, they oh, haven't even started yet. Does deny the third base once again. I know, there's but, no creeps spreading on it as well. Oh my. But I'm not yeah, even sure that Genesis is going to need it. He's got such a powerful army now as he runs into the third base of Bexy. Queen goes straight down. Mines are a little bit grouped up, and that would matter more if there were Banelings, but there aren't any. So Genesis is just going to split up his mines a little bit, use them for the defense, and as soon as Bexy tries to engage uh -huh. into this, nice positioning. Bye bye, Queen. There are so many Widow Mines, and there goes the third base. He's actually splitting down to the fourth. Fourth base mm -hmm. is going to go. And She's getting ready to engage. Here he comes. Going to go over the Widows. Oh, God. This could hurt so much. What? That was a weird And location. most of them got wiped out by the Widow Mines. Yeah, not that I many. I was kind of trying to figure it out. Oh, and here, here we it comes, go. Here it comes, here it comes. Bane's rolling in. Are they going to be able to get... Most of you get they're oh. mostly just against Marauders. That's funky. That's super, super funky. Um, wow. Well, Bexy cleaned up. But she got the, uh, he, Genesis got the fourth for his trouble as well. Yeah. Taking two bases. He's still got his third base floating there that he never actually put down. And these three Widow Mines got picked up. That's some mm -hmm. good pickups. Where did the rest of them go? Did they all get picked up? Uh, I think they must have done that. There aren't that many left at home for Genesis, but his army is just so strong. He doesn't have that many Marauders in it, which are really useful for soaking up yeah. those Baning hits, but he's reduced his Zerg opponent to two bases to his now realistically three. Uh, still really only mining on two base income, but he is able to drop mules, which will put him a lot higher, and there should be a fourth either produced or in production somewhere. His production is really nice, actually. Spring for Fungal. Okay, I was trying to... I think she's going for Fungal. That's why she's getting that Infestation Pit. Because Ooh. I was waiting for... Well, <gasps> Those Banelings, though. Wow. So cost-effective there. Uh, slightly... Oh, just just sort of engagement. Wow, I, I, that was a surprise to see that uh, Genesis didn't get the splits off there at all. Hmm. That was amazing. I mean, really, I haven't seen any crazy ghost who splits from him so far this game. So basically, I was wrong about everything except she did spam roaches at the start. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was that was a good. Call. You you got the barracks no, right I too. I said bio widow mine too. <laughs> did say. Yeah, his uh, Gen if we look actually, Genesis's upgrades are really late because he's been chucking these units around to such a great extent. He's been making so many both to defend and to keep the pressure up. So he's actually only at one one at this point uh, compared to the two two of Begsy. And actually, I'm a little bit scared that my bet might go down in the first game. <laughs> I'm still open. I got at least I got a lot of time. I just need one. One you, loss. You only, you only need one. I can't let a single one go through. 
Well, that was hey, you, you were confident. <laughs> I was I was confident. I was led to believe that it'd be dead sir. <laughs> <laughs> now how do you feel about we got army summer opposite sides of the map here? Yeah. Uh, this is something that happens a lot when you see players who are either really good or haven't taken quite the right amount of map vision. They're a little bit confused and it actually doesn't have like that much creep spread. It's only a little bit now coming down. Oh, so she hasn't seen this army until it's quite late. Reinforcements. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's good, but actually, these are good units. And if the Marauders tank this, oh, the Marauders might tank it. Lovely kiting, actually. Really nice. Um, yeah. At, at this point, there's a big medevac force that's just sitting over these mines. Actually, the mines have all gone off. Um, oh, oh, yeah, the mines have all gone off. Yeah, going to clean up those. Very nice. Trying to get into the main. Yeah. That's a lot he, of mutants, though. I think that's more than enough. really doesn't want to lose all of these medevacs. But actually, with the stim, no, it's not enough. There's actually more medevacs than units now. And very sharply, Genesis gets himself out of there. Because it means yeah, that if he keeps his medevacs alive... Units. Yeah, if he keeps his medevacs alive, he keeps his maneuverability alive. And that's how you stay in the game. And this is just Terran style. He's got an army back at home. He's got this big, uh, this big bio force that's looking good. Even without its upgrades, he's doing all right. Going to be able to stay alive. Yep. Yeah. And Bexy's got 56 army supply. Got that fourth base up. The third one did get killed, but not the fourth. Here comes mm. the next stream of units. Well, this is going to be very scary. Very, very scary for Bexy because she's just made all the drones for her fourth base. She's just redroned a whole bunch. Uh, Unless, no, wait, that might be a transfer down. Either way, she isn't able to make that many units because she doesn't have that many hatcheries and lava. And so this is a very scary push from Genesis. She doesn't really have that much ability to deal with it. Have to see whether he's able to win out. Those are He's trying bangers. to get these... Well, I'm waiting for the splits. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm watching like a hawk. Uh, I don't... I do not know. The Widow Mines are in an unusual position. He, Trying to kite back over those, but the so far the dodging the mines has actually been really good with the advent of the overseers with a uh, with pneumatized. But uh, Genesis, Genesis has got to be careful not to lose out. Here they come. This, these there are the go. ones. Got two out of four uh, no, widow mines. No, he's trying to bait Bexy into the widows. That's it. But isn't oh Ooh. weird fire there. A uh, good attack. But here Whoa, it comes. This is from the back. The Look at the splits. <sighs> Very nice. No more banelings are left. Only mutalisks, and not for long because there are a lot of marines in that comp. They are fleeing. Bexy calls GG. Genesis takes the first game. Bexy. And her opponent in the top right. Still located in his original spawn and not having flown to that gold base. But uh, sending out two SCVs in a suspicious manner. It's our mm. yellow Terran. Genesis. I'm calling shenanigans. <laughs> I'm not I sure now, actually. <laughs> I want to know if this is a proxy factory. No, has it made even racks no. yet? No. Okay, so, proxy Brax. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think this is just is. a straight 11-11. As I said, these two players are in it to win it, and Genesis has no problems with whacking down that build that is yep. so famously hated. Yep. Uh, <laughs> as soon as that overlord gets over there. Oh, no. Well... She's going to suspect, but a really smart play on this map is to build your barracks instead of at the top of the ramp, behind the mineral line. Because as soon as the Zerg sees it's not at the top of the ramp, they freak out. And they go, yeah. oh god. And then if it's just behind your mineral line, then the Zerg has gone for a non-economic build. But Bexy, go for Hatch first. She's brave, and it could cost her the game. Oh god. Gas, gas uh, after Hatch. Oh, that's not good. That is that is not safe. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Want me to make this a quick one? Oh, uh, there's the pool. Yeah. And we already have units in production. Uh man. It's natural. So screwed. <laughs> it's natural. And yeah, the Overlord knows, and so she knows. She should yeah. cancel that hatchery. That's usually the play here. Where's the? Uh, where's the drone? I was thinking yes, be. 
Yeah, I was thinking the SUV was going to uh, whack down a bunker, but I guess this second one is going to perform that task because the first Marine is already out and will be running up to help defend that. Obviously, this could be seen by the Overlord, but I think at this point, even the Hatchery could see it. It doesn't yeah. matter. No, oh, yeah, yeah. She it can't even start up. making links. Ah, oh, man, I totally oh. hope she cancels this natural. Oh, I'm going to get this... Oh, uh, there's two more it. of them. Surround those two. <laughs> Ooh, nearly catching one. The drones are doing work, but Genesis is microing himself just back into a corner, taking really, really nice engagements against the drones, denying all of that surface area really nicely. And already she's taken a, a worker deficit. How oh. many have died? Three have died already so far. The bunker is complete. No. The Marines are in. Oh, that's bad. Uh, that's just gonna do it. That was... Uh -oh.